Ah, uh, we're back with another great week of contested territory. So let's hop into contested territory and see how well our team is doing. Well, my friends, as per usual, it seems like we are number one on the leaderboard once again. And oh my god, the green team is so pissed at us that we managed to beat them that they decided to change our team name to Nightmare Kingdom Anoop Tryhards. Wow, I'm, I'm very impressed, green team. I'm, I'm very impressed you managed to figure out how to change your team name. But man, that's actually impressive you know that uh your that pissed at us for beating you but regardless we're not just number one on the local leaderboards as you can see we are also number one or oh, not number one but we are we have hit the top 25 spots in the global leaderboards which is an achievement that i'm very happy to have managed to accomplish for our team so great job teammates thank you for thank you all for working so hard to make this uh possible but yeah, that, that's, that's actually quite kind of funny, not gonna lie, but uh, that was until I, I decided to look into the team member's name and yeah, they may or may not have changed their names to uh, let's just say trash us some more or rather failing to trash us because you can see the scores, but regardless, uh, I decided to look into the leader's name and uh, hmm, seems like, uh -huh. oh, oh. Okay, so anyway, I've decided to file a report to Ninja Kiri, which um, I'll probably give you guys an update at the end of this video. Well, it's been a few days since I last made that video, so today, before we get to the point of what exactly happened afterwards, let's go ahead and play some few tiles. Let's start off with Royal Treatment. And yes, I know it's only expiring in 4 hours, but um, I claim the tile. I can do whatever I want with it. Besides, I don't want to wait for, well, night time until I capture this tile again so let's jump let's go ahead and see what we have in this tile it's a uh, pretty straightforward there's no farming but uh there's not much that you could do or is there see with the white relics almost anything is possible including this boss event so we're going to go ahead and use these relics and yes we do have these event relics to help us out and with that let's jump straight into it now we're going to start off by placing our ninja right about here and we're going to go ahead and get a 201 or rather um, yeah 201 ninja now keep in mind that because there really isn't any other um farming powers that we could go for unless you come middle path through it or middle path heli which like we're not going to get it before i'm 40 okay but even if you count those um yeah that's only give you a lot of money so we're going to go for a zero farming strategy and we're going to beat Bullet Darius very quickly. So, with that, we now have our 201 Ninja. And the next thing we're going to do is get an Ace. And with this Ace, we're going to go ahead and set this fella to figure 8. And we're going to get a 200 for now. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get a second Ace. Now, you might wonder why we're not going to get a 400. And I was going to get a 400 when I first played this map. But then I realized that... I couldn't get a 4 0, 0 before, well, a balloon comes out here and uh, the timer goes up and since we're going to go for the lowest timing that's possible in this event, that's not going to happen. Also, yeah, I kind of screwed up and uh, used starting stash instead of monkey boost, which um, you need if you want to beat this boss quickly, so um, oops, I guess I'm going to have to start this all over again. Okay, now we're back where we are and we can now get a 400 or rather 420 ODS and we're going to do the same right here except instead of 420 it's just going to be a 400 Ooh, and we managed to get veteran level 17 in the meantime but um, now that we've gotten another 400 ace guess what we're going to get another 400 ace and after this round we're going to go ahead and sell our ninja because there's, there's no more camel balloons. I don't know what you need a ninja for. Okay, now it's round 40. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the monkey boost right now. Instantly. And we're going to speed this up a little bit. And now you might notice that it, we don't actually have any defense for... Well, the cell mix that Blue is going to spill out. So what exactly are we going to do? Okay, and also I'll keep the boost at 100% uptime. And what we're going to do is just going to ignore it completely. Why? Because we can use the SMS when the second round of Cell come out as well. And voila, the Cell are all gone. They're all gone down to who knows where. And now we can finally use uh, the third SMS ability. We can get Fighter Plane. And with that, we can beat this ever so slightly faster. And there we go. That's it for this boss event. It's... Uh, 
not that hard actually. And with that, we've gotten the timing off. 44 seconds. Now, admittedly, it could be a bit faster. I've gotten about uh, 30 something seconds uh, yesterday. But uh, still, pretty fast for a tier 1 boss, especially when there's no farming. And it's is your, really your only uh, at time warp uh, option. So there you go. Oh, look, it's another waste tile. And it's one that I've already claimed. So let's change our relics a bit into this because I do have a strategy, a rather simple one at that. For beating this race. So this race is very simple. We're going south by placing our boomerang right here, gets a 300 boomerang, and then immediately send to round 20. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get a upgrade our boomerang to a 320 because of course we can. Let's send to round 25. And we're going to go ahead and save up for more glaives. So let's be patient a little bit. Let's send to round 30. There we go, and now we can send to round 39. That next, we are going to go ahead and get the middle path darling because we need to deal with the camel balloons. So, uh, still 3 2 should do. Uh, in the meantime, let's send to our 42. I uh, overshot a bit, but that's fine. Once you get hydro rocket okay, pots, just target the Moab and send to round 49. We're going to target the Samix there. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and place down a second darling. And this time, this darling will be the top path darling. So let's go ahead and get a 420 first, send to our 54. We don't send to our 55 first because I don't know how um, bad it's going to be. So once you get about $7,000, you can go ahead and sell your boomerang for the plasma accelerator. And with that, you can send to our 60. And next, uh, we're going to rebuy the boomerang right here at this exact spot. And again, we're going to go ahead and get a 420. Now, once you have about $15,000, we're going to sell both our Darling Gunners so that we can get the Glaive Lord. Gunners at round 62 so that we can get a little bit more cash and in the meantime, target the white class blues because uh, the, uh, what is it? The Glaive Ricochet should be able to uh, take care of the regular balloons. So now we're going to go ahead and sell both of our Darlings, get Glaive Lord and then full send to round 80. Alright, so how are we going to deal with the rest of the balloons? Don't worry, we're going to first go ahead and get a 420 uh, Darling Gunner. We're going to target the boys as much as possible. Especially this little BFP right here. And we're going to get a second Darling Gunner with the exact same thing, a 420 upgrade. And that's it for this race. It's uh, very simple really. So once you get the 420 Darling Gunner, all you need to do is just point it at the start because um, the, the boomerang will handle the rest for you. And that's it for this race. Very simple, right? It should be simple. And there you go. That is how you beat this race. And with that, we have got a timing of 3 minutes and 44 seconds, which is pretty good for a... Uh, what is it? 80 round race? So there you go. Now here's another race how that's going to expire in about 4 hours time. And uh, since uh, I don't really have time later today, uh, let's just go ahead and attack. And, well, not attack him, but rather we claim this tile so that it doesn't expire. And let's give this a good time because I know exactly how to deal with this race. So we're going to start off with our Dark Monkey right here. And we're going to go ahead and get a 310, set this fire to last. And we're going to go ahead and send to round 9. And with that, we're going to upgrade to very quick shots, at which point we're going to send to round 11. Now we're going to save up for a wizard right here. We're going to place it exactly right here because we want the wall of fire to be in front. And yes, I did spoil what exactly we're going to get. It's a wall of fire. The sent round 18. There we go. And let's send round 24 or 25. That also works. We're going to go ahead and place a second wizard right here. Let's send round 30. And we got a second wall of fire. And with that. We're going to go ahead and get the bottom path monkey sent so that we can get camo detection. Let's go ahead and send to 35. And with that, we need to go ahead and get an A so that we can do a little bit more damage, set to figure infinite, and get a lot more darts. Let's send to 39. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a juggernaut. And we're also going to get a uh, dragon's breath for this. And once you get Dragon's Breath, you can set to round 40. Or round 45. Let's go ahead and get Fighter Plane as well, and Spy Plane, so that we can uh, deal the Camel Blues much more easily. Get ODS, and set to round 49. 
we're going to go ahead and get a modern path wizard right here shimmer so that we can decamo let's send to our 54 let's go ahead and get summon phoenix and to deal a little bit more damage let's go ahead and get necromancer as well now to make popping a little bit more easier we're going to go ahead and get embrittlement as well one over here uh we can also get one here i think but uh, if we can't send our buy we can go ahead and place it here let's go ahead and set around 62 first of all out of the leg and now we're going to set up for an ultra juggernaut because once we can get the ultra juggernaut we can full send to uh, around 72 so in order to get the ultra juggernaut we're going to have to sell this ice once we can afford it and we're going to full set around 72 and now we're going to go ahead and we buy the eyes as such and you might wonder why we haven't used the dragon's breath uh sorry why we haven't used the sound phoenix ability uh that's because it's going to be used for our cleanup later on so not yet but we're going to go ahead and get this first a uh, zero to three or zero to four and once we get zero to four we can go ahead and use the summon phoenix ability and that should help us for the remaining loons asap and with that we are done with this race uh it's a bit more complicated than the previous race but still relatively simple in the scheme of things and there you go that's it for this race And with that, we have secured a timing of 3 minutes and 38 seconds, which is okay, I suppose, given uh, the towns that we have. Now let's see what is one last town that we could attack, so that we could finally use up all our tickets today. How about another boss town that is going to expire in less than an hour, and this time it's going to be slightly more challenging. So let's see what towers we have. We have Dart, Moving Bomb, yada yada yada. It's not not the best how it was but more importantly we are dealing with vortex so how exactly are we going to go about this now since we so just so happen to have vote spikes as you know our relic for the day let's go ahead and dump all our vote spikes right here you know just in case now we're going to start off by placing a dark monkey at the start right about here and we're going to go ahead and get a 003 dart uh first now this dart should last for quite some time so Let's go ahead and place down a banana farm and uh, let's upgrade to a 200. And with that, let's go ahead and upgrade our dark monkey a little bit more to a 023. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get a second 200 farm. And now we have three 200 farms. But before we continue, let's go ahead and get a heli pilot. Because, well, this isn't enough to last us a few more rounds, isn't it? Okay, we now have four 200 farms. So let's go ahead and upgrade them all to. 203. Also, I'm not entirely sure why it's lagging right now, but um, hopefully the lag stops soon. Now that we have gotten our second marketplace, we, we can afford to upgrade our ship to a cord dart. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's upgrade the rest of our farms to marketplaces in the meantime. This is still round 35. I've decided that, you know what, let's raise it one more farm because we can. And also, since we do have a lot of money now, let's just go ahead and upgrade. Uh, our dark monkey to a sharpshooter just, just so that it can make popping blues easier i might be wondering what our tier 1 defense is gonna be and it's going to be the web eliminator so let's go ahead and turn off auto start and when the round ends we're going to go ahead and sell our farms uh and we'll see how many farms it takes for us to sell before we can get the web eliminator four farms it takes four farms for us to afford the web eliminator so let's go ahead and start this round and we're just going to keep sparing the eliminator ability and because we have wipe shaft and the heli pilot is far away from the start of the track it makes it a lot easier for us to you know constantly deal damage to vortex so it shouldn't be an issue overall what is an issue however is the blues that is going to leak uh quite a lot actually so we're going to go ahead and deal with this before we go ahead and continue placing our focus on vortex and with that, we have finally dealt with Vortex. And that's it for tier 1. So let's go ahead and sell our bomb shooter, get a central market. And we're going to upgrade to our jet to, uh, you know what, let's just get uh, 2 2 uh, IFR in the meantime. Now we can still improve our defenses though. So we're first we're going to get a 203 bomb shooter. We're leaving our Dark Monkey as is. And we're going to go ahead and get more 204 marketplaces. 
so that should be enough marketplaces so what we're going to move on to is going to be 420 fast because it's slightly more efficient although normally i'll be lazy and just go for 204 fast but since this is a video fine i'm going for 420 farm because it's more efficient now you might start facing a little bit of trouble from here on out so we're going to add our defenses by getting another 203 bomb if you're wondering why we're not getting 204 first two, the 204 because the cluster doesn't activate constantly and secondly well it's just much more cheaper so if you're wondering what's our defense for tier uh two it's going to be the middle path wipe assassin plus and apache prime and yes we can afford both of them you'll be surprised okay so now that we've gotten everything let's go ahead and sell everything except the heli and we now have one hundred and thirteen thousand dollars, which is really really great so first let's go ahead and get an apache prime next we're going to go ahead and place a bomb shooter right here we want to place it here and set this to strong because we don't want it to be too close to vortex when you know dealing with it and finally i have spammed 202 helis as much as i can except for these two which i spammed which i got a 402 in hindsight i should have probably upgraded the apache prime to a 502 instead of a 520 but uh um, never mind that is a small issue so let's go ahead use the use the uh web assassin's ability going to go ahead and use this boost and use this boost so let's see how quickly we can defeat this fella and to be honest i'm surprised that the uh, web assassin is still getting hit by a uh, vortex which uh, i was not anticipating so um yeah, I made a small mistake by putting it a little bit too close, but uh, never mind, that's a small issue since we're still going to get a pretty good timing with this. And let's use our boost for one last time. Let's go ahead and use the assassin now that it's up. And voila, we have defeated the Vortex tier 2. That wasn't too hard, was it? And with that, we can declare victory for this with a timing of 2 minutes and 1 second. Now, of course, this will have been sub to minutes if I didn't uh, leak the boost earlier. But um, I'll call it a minor uh, transgression and... Uh, yeah that's it for this week's ct but you guys might still be wondering exactly what happened to the other team well i found a report to ninja kiwi and they responded by saying that they have taken action and by taken action they mean that well they changed the team name from whatever it was earlier on to you notice me uh i won which like um i I don't know how childish you have to be to change your name to you notice me I want like I I don't know what the point is like I'm hiding the team code because they don't deserve recognition but all the players have gotten their player name changed except that this leader this little fella over here still has all these name monkeys which um um you know what I'll, I'll let Ninja Kiri handle that. I, I don't really care about this guy or his team anymore because guess what? We won. We are still on the global leaderboards and now we're number 7th and guess what? We, are, we have overtaken quite a number of good teams such as Quad El Noob, Quad El Body Bridge and of course Uncontested which uh, I'm honestly surprised has fallen to below 25th place but still we have defeated you guys, so um, I'm not exactly sure what you mean by you notice by one, but um, at the end of the day, who's the true winners? Am I right? But yeah, maybe they have they have been banned, or maybe they gave up playing because um, after this, after uh, they have the name change, they haven't been attacking a single house so or that house from yesterday. Uh, so yeah. I am very happy with this result, so thank you so much, uh, Green Team, for really helping me out here. Love like you Love me like you